What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 8 of Town Hall 10 in 2021. Today, we're going to do something slightly different because I'm finding that a lot of newer players out there do not know the difference between a clan war style army and a farming army. So we're going to take a look at two different strategies with a similar troop in mind, the P.E.K.K.A. I know that there's like a love-hate relationship with the P.E.K.K.A. for a lot of different players out there, but it's probably probably one of the stronger troops at Town Hall 10 because it does gain two different levels. So we're going to take a look at one of my favorite clan war armies first, and then we're going to follow that up with a farming attack strategy with the lower level P.E.K.K.A. for Town Hall 10. And then we're going to use a power potion and show you how strong that P.E.K.K.A. is for farming at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and kick this thing off with my favorite clan war army. We're in our most recent clan war leagues, and this is an attack here from your boy blackout over here in pdx elite much love for your fam and so we got ourselves the pekka's hog riders and bowlers also known as the hope by our competitive players out there now this attack strategy is super easy to use if you understand how to funnel your pekkas meaning that you're not dropping all of your troops from the start and hoping for the best you got to make sure that you pick an entry point and so what blackout's going to do here is he's going to select this section of the village with the intent to go into the town hall first and he's going to use baby dragons to do the funneling now he probably checked the distance or the ring around this air defense and he's going to start by placing the baby dragon and a pekka and a wizard with the intent for them to split and start clearing buildings to the right and also buildings to the left over here you'll see that what we're trying to do is make sure that we clear some gaps to make sure that the king queen wall wrecker and pekkas go inside the village like you want to happen so we got that wall wrecker placed we got the Pekka's drop, the Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, and they're going to work their way inside that compartment since all of those buildings on the outside of the base are cleared. We're going to see that wall wrecker go into the first Inferno Tower, and there's also inside the Clan Castle the infamous Electro Dragon and Balloon combination. Now, you got to be careful with this combo because you got to get that poison spell down to start working on that balloon and weakening that Electro Dragon just a little bit, but more importantly, here you got to have that archer queen available because she needs to take down that electro dragon now inside the wall wrecker is bowlers so what he's going to do is he's going to freeze these troops and allow the bowlers to clear out some buildings but unfortunately the queen takes her sweet time she's not getting in there to take down that e-drag as fast as he would like so unfortunately the bowlers will in fact die but the queen will eliminate that electro dragon now i want you to see down here on the bottom side of this village he started working those hog riders into the base notice that there's like this little l shape going on here with the village of defenses the hog rider they're a defensive seeking troop the intent of clan war is to obviously three star that is your goal so we got hog riders moving in with four heal spells in the composition he's going to drop one heal spell on the map to protect the hogs as they go through a wizard tower placement an x bow hidden teslas and then he's going to place another heal spell interlacing them together to provide protection for the hog riders as they go into this multi-target inferno tower they're going to jump the wall going after the expo in the mortar and we're going to see our final heal spell used queen she took out the clan castle she eliminated the town hall and the hogs will assist with taking down the remaining defenses while the wizards are used around the back side of this village to clear out all the remaining buildings on the right side while the hogs work in the northern corner of this village so we're going to go ahead and speed this one up this is a clan war style army because it is very expensive hogs cost you a lot of dark elixir but there's the army right there if you need a very easy three star strategy so my time in the Clan War Leagues and Paradox Elite has concluded. In our live stream the other night, we went ahead and put our heroes back down for upgrade again. So today would be day 34. I got to point that out because that's very important to know. Our Barbarian King is going to level 36 and our Archer Queen is going to level 37. So I hope to have one of these, if not both of them, to level 40 before the next Clan War Leagues. We'll see how it works out and I will definitely let you know. In the meantime, we've gone ahead 
ahead and upgraded all of our dark elixir drills, our elixir collectors, and now we're working our way through our gold mines. The only building this leftover in this area right here will be the dark spell factory. I'd like to get that down for upgrade next. That way we can get that done and unlock our bat spells. But we do have this army trained up and this is the P.E.K.K.A. farming army. Now I've shown this army multiple times so far in this series without the use of clan castle troops but this time around we're going to go ahead and sink in the log launcher that way we can show you the differences between the level four pekka and the level six pekka because the level four that's what you had down at town hall nine right and so we're going to go ahead and see if we can find something that's got a decent amount of resources so far i haven't been too impressed and it might just be that time of the day where there are no resources you know how it goes down there are times in the day when the resources just go <laughs> all right so this one looks too it's not too bad right we got some decent resources here and the point of showing you this is because the goal is not necessarily to three star unless you're purposely pushing you're not really worried about the three star out here when you're farming you're really looking to steal the resources so we got 4200 dark elixir available on this base and we need to make sure that we funnel just a bit with our troops before we drop the main group of our pekkas and we got a pekka working up top's gonna take out an archer tower let's drop one more over here to go after that dark elixir drill and we have two drills down here on the bottom side so i'm gonna try to hold on to another pekka so let's do this let's go one two and three and let's go ahead and send some wizards back behind and then we're gonna release our log launcher in line with this multi-target inferno tower now remember we're working with level or town hall nine pekkas level four pekkas they're not really as powerful as they could be at town hall 10 but with the assistance of the log launcher it makes it a little bit easier on us that way we can use our rage spell and we can also use our heal spell in the center of this base for our troops now we're going to drop another pekka down here to go after the dark elixir and a wizard there and a wizard there and we're also going to just go ahead and get rid of these wall breakers because i normally bring the wall breakers for situations where there's dark elixir stuck inside of a compartment let's drop a rage spell here for this yeti as well as the valkyries they're going to go after that multi-target inferno tower and we do have freeze spells so we can go ahead and freeze this expo give this pekka some time with the wizards and assist with that let's go ahead and freeze it one more time to take some pressure off of the yeti and allow this goblin here to take out some more resources but as you can see we were easily able to go in and steal the dark elixir that's the entire point of this army in the first place this is why we're not using hog riders because the goal is to steal dark elixir if you're using dark elixir troops to steal dark elixir you're obviously having to use a lot more than what's necessary and you don't really need them with an army like this man i don't know about you guys but you are like really good luck or something i said in the last clip that there was no resources well wow. here we are again i just found another monster this is like three in a row that i found maybe four at this point i just got a little carried away by stealing resources instead of recording the stuff but i gotta show you these level six pekkas in action man they are straight up beast mode when it comes to stealing resources as well as the clan war so we need to make sure that we funnel just a little bit with our pekkas and then we're also going to drop some wall breakers to try to funnel out this little area right here now we got some pekkas working up top so i tell you what we're going to do we're going to drop one two three line up that log launcher with the multi-target inferno tower although i probably should have taken on the single target and said i don't know anyways <laughs> let's go ahead and get some wizards down and we got to make sure that we pay attention to our pekka let's go ahead and drop a raid spell right here for these girls and they're going to cut through the wall going after that multi we got to pay attention to that single as well over there inside our wall or yeah our wall record no actually our log launcher is bowlers so we switched out the bowlers with the uh yetis and this time around we're going to bring bowlers into the center of the base with our pekka although the pekka did die but you're going to notice that the bowlers are going to get a double bounce let's go ahead and freeze that expo over there give them some time and we have one more pekka to help out over here let's go ahead and drop the wizards and we're going to release our wall breakers now the reason why i'm showing you this is mainly because a lot of players get a little confused out there where they're watching attacks like this when i'm doing the little raids out here in global and they're thinking 
oh yeah, I should take this attack into clan war. And the reason why you do not want to do that is because it's very one-sided. Does that make sense? Uh, you have the P.E.K.K.A.s that are very powerful and they can move about halfway through the base, but at the same time, you're going to notice that there's still defenses and resources on the other side of the base that are getting completely missed because we don't have those backside troops in the hog riders. So this is why this is specifically for the farming strategies only and not used for clan war. So I wanted to make sure I showed this because I need you guys to understand that there is a major difference between these one-sided armies for farming and then those double or uh, two-phased attacks for the clan war. That is a very important note to know about because this could cost you your clan situation. I've seen players get kicked out of clans for using farming armies in clan war. Does that make sense? So hopefully you understand the difference between the two now. And we're going to go ahead and set back our regular defensive base. And we're going to be planning on upgrading our P.E.K.K.A.s next inside of the laboratory. Right now we got the level three miners going because I want to do some miner farming in the future as well. But once these miners are complete, we're going to be putting our P.E.K.K.A. down to level five. And then we're going to work towards level six with the hammers being used to do our dark troops most importantly our hog rider that way we can do the hope hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and if you enjoy today's content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you would like to see the very beginning of town hall 10 in 2021 series or the town hall 10 free to play series from 2020 click one of those links over there and we'll see you in the next one guys Take care.